Guys, it's Lost in Plot. We're back, and today we have for you the new Netflix series, episode one of All of Us Are Dead Zombies. Korean zombies. Korean zombies. A whole the worst mess kind. Of so, what is this show about? Well, it's a it's a zombie show. It's a zombie show. We can stop there. You know, that's a fair summation. It is a zombie show. Mm. Mm. Now, this one is set in a Korean high school. That's the different flavor here. And if you really care about what caused the zombie outbreak or what's going on with them, if they're infected or the, the, the reawakened dead, reanimated dead, whatever they are, this one has a, a bit of a unique twist on that. It's basically some scientist was, was playing around with with bullying, with fight or flight responses, and tried to develop some kind of serum for I don't know what, but it's all about bullying. That's the commentary about it, is these people that become so afraid, they become enraged and manic and turn into hyper zombies. Yeah, when and, infected and, and likening the idea of bullying to the creator or the, the genesis of zombies, to me, not a very interesting idea. No, but do we really care about that? Probably not. You're it would be nice. It'd be a a nice show. to have something a bit interesting. It, it would be, but this is not that type of show at all. Now, if anyone is familiar with the property out there, I think it is based on a graphic novel or maybe a series. We haven't read any of that. I'm not too familiar with it to, to go into more details other than that. But this is another in the line of Netflix shows that they're pulling in from Korea because they're finding they're getting some traction from this. Where this and is I like, think there's a reason for it. It's yeah. Because when you see it's what, different. You, it, you, it makes it different, right? The whole, the whole hook to this thing is it's zombies, but it's set in a South Korean school. Oh, well, for me, I've never been to a South Korean high school. It's kind of neat to see how it all works. And then you Great. see, you add on to that, the uh, the zombie mayhem that goes along with it, and it suddenly becomes new again. And maybe that's part of the appeal with uh, some of the Korean filmmaking and shows that they're coming out of there is because it's set in Korea. You're already going to a different place, but then you have these familiar ideas that you're experiencing through a different cultural lens. Yeah, and, and for a lot of people watching a zombie show, you don't require much other than that is this thing well made, or is it one of those cheesy B movie things that you know are hidden out there on Sci Fi Channel? Or and this like that? is definitely well made, very well made, impressively well mounted. I mean, I find myself remarking on the color grading and all these things. It's Beautiful bright, it pops. Yeah. The action is very well directed. There's these long, drawn out camera shots where they've got it excellently choreographed, where zombies are flying in off screen and jumping off at exactly the right time. There was a lot of of choreography and staging that went into this. And it makes it fun to watch. The camera moves. It is fluid. It takes you up and down those halls. It doesn't stop to become, you know, the slow, ponderous, dramatic garbage that sometimes we see in this this genre. So it sucks all the fun out of it. No, this is about that fun kinetic energy and pushing things as far as you can possibly push them. And we avoid the melodrama, but what we have here instead is basically a teen soap opera in yeah. the middle of a zombie outbreak. So we're not dealing with heavy, ponderous themes. Instead, we're dealing with, well, these two probably like each other and they're passing notes to each other. Oh, it's so dramatic when the zombies come and just tear them apart. That's kind of the level that we're getting at here. It's not any deeper than that. It's like, oh, my best friend, my BFF forever, just got bitten and I gotta throw the bitch out the window. Off she goes. Yeah, it's weak. There's no doubt about it. When we're talking about the characters here, they're weak. They're not interesting. They're not unique. There's nothing compelling about their relationships or what they have going on in their day that are really engage you and make you either like them or hate them or root for them. Mm. They're just kind of there. And it's like, oh, well, I feel bad. You're going to school and now there's zombies and they're trying to bite you. That's terrible. Hell of a thing. You. That's terrible for you. But there's nothing really otherwise interesting about you besides this predicament that you now find yourself in. The characters, I think, are drawn distinctly enough that you can tell them apart and you can kind of get the, the gist of them. Like they talk about when you're setting up a character and you don't want to develop them, you give them some kind of characteristic or trait that we remember them by. And I thought they did just enough. Yeah, barely. Barely enough, These as are you very said, thinly drawn characters. That you get it. You get who's the popular girl and who's the stuck-up girl and, and who's the awkward boy and all that kind of, you know, high school drama, soap opera stuff. But set in a Korean high school and very, very well shot. So where does this come in for you? Well, this comes in 
this comes in as a live. It's about a 6 out of 10. I'd be willing to give this another shot to see if there's... But I, I really need something. I need some more interesting ideas. One of the interesting ideas from the pilot episode, or at least I thought it was... Oh, it's kind of new or different, is we have this... Patient Zero type thing, or like the, the, the person from whom this virus emanates. Yeah. And the suggestion of the show is that it's somebody who kind of like can turn it off and on. And right. it's almost like you're the Incredible Hulk, right? You can Hulk up and go into zombie mode, and all of a sudden you're an infection spreading horde monster, but then you can pull it back and you're just a regular normal person again. And you get triggered in ways that cause it to manifest, which I thought that's interesting. And that could potentially provide more fertile ground for uh, for the story. Yeah, you're right. So the, the transition really is born out of fear, out of that fight or flight nervous system response. Is right. kind of what triggers you into you know zombie mode when you're getting picked on by other kids or when you fear for your life. Yeah, and the fact that you can vacillate between the two, I haven't seen that before. Fair enough. So you had this alive. I had this alive as well at a six out of ten because it did just enough for me so for a lot of people out there maybe they're in the same situation where it is different enough right it's yeah. colorful it's vibrant the camera movements well move. made i don't get bored watching it the choreography is really cool and if you're going to keep giving me that i like watching that it's almost a bit like a martial arts film with some of the movements that they do where every frantic pursuit up and down a school hallway is perfectly choreographed where like zombies hitting and bursting into the window and they're near misses all over and they're biting him and biting them and jumping on top of each other that stuff's cool to watch i can watch that for as many episodes as you're going to give it to me i'm not bored of it yet yeah i mean not that's yet. that's enough for me I, i'm worried i'm for cautiously now. optimistic but you're really going to have to bring something in terms of either the compelling character drama to supplement this because you've already let the monster out of the box we've seen it so you can only get so much more mileage by repeating that same kind of sequence. You're going to need to give us something else. Be a little bit more inventive with how the story's going to go. The characters are going to have to develop a little bit more interestingly. Hopefully it will do that. I'm willing to see if it will because the strength of the pilot episode was enough to get me there. Yeah, and we'll see because they did lay some little developments through there. Hell doesn't really break loose until pretty close to the end of that first yeah, episode it's the, because it's definitely the finale they're sequence. taking their time setting up all the characters so that you know them at least because otherwise we just don't care and then by the end of the episode all hell breaks loose i did go ahead and watch the the episode after that and it just continues in pandemonium all over the place and it's cool it's fun to watch but as you point out that'll get me through one episode two episode third episode and beyond that we're going to need some more development and some some different conflict. So hopefully that is there. There it is. It is alive. All of us. Are All of us are dead, dead. But it's alive. And it's alive. It is six out of ten. Guys, if you've been watching this, please leave your thoughts, feedback, downs in the comments below. Is this one really got your interest? Got your attention? Is this? A far better replacement for The Walking Dead, which was such an uber popular show back in the day. Let us know your thoughts and opinions about that. Check us out on Twitter. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you all on the next one.